just, yeah, it's a lot about, you know, trying to get the kids to influence the adults because they, the kids are kind of the ones who are going to have to deal with it. Some of the adults might be just like, oh, well, you know, we don't have to deal with this because this is going to happen in, you know, 50 years or so or something like that. Um, and so we don't have to deal with it. But we do. So we kind of have to do something about it. And we have to kind of convince you guys, since mostly the adults have all the power, to do something about it. <laughs> so I guess it's kind of... But we have the power to change the adults. Yes. Uh-huh. You well, do, actually. <laughs> well said. Are you like a starfish? <laughs> okay, why don't we start? Uh, I mean, standing up, you know. It's quite the gift. Aria. We'd like to present a 25 minute performance about two mothers, Mother Nature and, and Mother, Mother Justice. Justice. It's performed by us kids mostly. And it's performed for you adults mostly. We'd like to set the stage. While they're getting ready, I'm wondering how do you feel about the winter weather we've just lived through? Was that global warming? Or what? What do you think? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, you know, global warming is, um, like you said, it, I think that we can't see the real effects at this point. But there is some changes, and there has been some. Um, on Buffalo, they said that it was, when, when that snow came into Buffalo a, few, a week ago, um, they said it would have beat all kinds of records, so I assume that we're having changes in the climate. <laughs> but, like, how do you feel about that? Like, does it oh, how do I feel you? about it? Yeah. Well, I haven't got a consciousness, so how I feel about it may be different. 
than what other people feel about it because I obviously believe that um, that there's a, another hand involved. But I think that um, I think it's the rich um, that has caused that climate change. I think it's what they've done um, to get rich and their greed that has caused that climate change. So even though we need to be aware of it, you know, I mean, I think we're going to have a discussion afterwards where we can talk about what that really means. Who, who, who do we target? Our footprints are little footprints, but there's very big footprints out there, so it makes me very angry. Okay. But I'm always very angry. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? I um, feel dismayed for the future. And you? Um, yeah, I'm sort of worried about what's going to happen in the future, but uh, I hope uh, I can still be optimistic that uh, there's um, that we can make things better. Beg your pardon. Hey, Mac. Yeah. Friends. Let us introduce ourselves. We're collectors of emotions. <laughs> Dealers in feelings. And we've been hearing a lot of feelings expressed in this conversation today. Feelings. Some of the feelings you express may be antique and worth a lot, or they may be extinct and worth nothing. Obsolete. Madam, have you ever had your feelings appraised for their value? No. Thought so. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, have you ever considered some of the feelings you express may be?
leaving the air very quickly. Now the north and the south poles are heating up. Um, ma'am. And in general, the climate is destabilizing with extremes of heat and cold. The experience last winter was an example. Let's return to something very soon. Ma'am, I have a question. We're going to experience extreme weather temperatures, rising of the sea levels, both droughts and floodings. Ma'am, could you pay attention to me? An increase of hurricanes and tornadoes and... Ma'am! <laughs> yes. Do you mean to say that these things are going to happen in my lifetime? Unless a lot changes very soon. Yes, I'm sorry to say they will. Fooey! Oh, fudge! Darn it! That's terrible! No, it feels like fills up, oh my gosh! Fooey! Oh, fudge! Darn it! That's terrible! No, it fills up, it fills up, oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> 
Like you make the boat to save you a lot of time? I used that time up a few years ago. And the washing machine. And the dryer. Hours and hours of time. Dang. Only if I've been washing my clothes by hand by the Ganges River could I save time. Look, there's not enough time. Said the yellow jelly frog the day before it became extinct. There just isn't enough. Said the white severe wolf the day before it became extinct. <laughs> heard things at home. Honey, I'll just run over to the store and pick up some. Probably she didn't run. She rides car. Darling, could you go over to Walgreens and... She doesn't just go over. She drives car. <laughs> five. Okay, he wants to drive car. Then why not car? Instead of five people. Driving five cars. Five people. Into one car. Or four people, or three or two, but not just one person. Think of all the fuel you'll save. We'll save the world. We'll save right. I'm talking to you and you. Let's see what pester power can do. Okay, son, I'm going to work. Are you driving the car? <coughs> of course. Who are you going with? No one. Myself. Driving alone? That's a sad dad. Don't you want company? I'm just going to work. But you could carpool. Let's see your coat is so cool. There. Car. Cool. I'm just... Uh, I don't have time for that. What? No time before leaving. You're bored. Sure you have time. There you are in the car, sharing the air with your homies. It's both a car and a pool. Do some strokes. No, I... Dad, I think it's a road trip. Time to get deep with your fellow human beings. I can't get no ba -ba -ba satisfaction. It's too much trouble. Said the man to the armadillo on the day before it became extinct. It's not worth it, said the woman to the little red gorilla on the day before it became extinct. Come on, get in the car, we have to go. Always car. 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 Kiwan Carrington as Kiwan tried to enter his house. Our first duty is to ourselves, to act in self-defense. Said George Zimmerman after he shot and killed 17-year-old unarmed Trayvon Martin as he was walking home from the store. <laughs> Folks, we have two climates that are in trouble. The environmental climate and the racial climate. With the environmental climate, we know if we don't do something now, things are going to get much worse later. Same goes with the racial climate. Experts say if we don't get rid of the standard growing laws now in 2014, there'll be a 30% escalation in violence and despair by 2020. Whole city neighbors will be patrolled by paramilitaries. Middle class neighbors will be gated with security guards. Ma'am. Public transportation will cease to be. Excuse me. And the highway will be constantly policed by hovering helicopters. Ma'am! Yes. Are you saying that these things are going to happen? In my lifetime? Unless a lot changes very soon, yes. I'm sorry to say, <laughs> they will. Fooey. Fudge. Darn it! It's terrible! No, I feel successful! Oh my god! Fooey. Oh, Fudge. Darn it! That's it's terrible! No, I feel successful! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Champaign-Urbana, right? No, not really. Oh, you're in Illinois, right? Uh, I'm not sure. What state are you in? Denial. What? I'm in the state of <laughs> denial. Where is that? Well, it's north of feeling hunky-dory, and it's west of feeling fine settle, and it's east of 
flight. Yeah, those emotions are extinct. <laughs> and it's south of, oh wow, kind of closer to, oh no. But dad. <laughs> and I don't feel like we're all one anymore. Dad, that's extinct too. You need some new emotions. <laughs>
got to bleach those underwear, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's a little gross. Yeah.